November 1940. Place, the highways of America, already swarming with some 30 million passenger cars. Cars to fit every pocketbook and every taste. Yet with 20-odd makes already on the road, a car built around a new idea appeared in those November days of 1940. The new kind of car, the Nash Ambassador 600. It was a car built for modern needs. A car specifically designed for longer life and lower operating costs. That it filled modern needs was soon proved by the orders which wrote one of the greatest success stories of modern automotive history. 1941 sales of the Ambassador 600 came to more than 50,000 units, a spectacular record for any brand new make of car. Now, for 1942, there is being written a second chapter in the history of this new kind of car. It's a chapter which begins with a complete restyling of the new Model 600. There's a massive new front end that gives a higher priced look to this million dollar beauty. A low priced car that's distinctive and distinctively a Nash. Note the modern design in the rounded radiator, the streamlined sweep of the longer hood, the overall appearance of sturdiness completely in tune with the times. There's a massive new bumper with four rugged guards, smartly designed to harmonize perfectly with everything above it, and sized to give the whole car a low, hugging the road look. Now on around to the side, the flash of chrome window reveals the length emphasizing sweep of the chrome belt molding, graceful streamlined door handles, almost a part of the molding itself, and smart multiple fender bars also of gleaming chrome. Now here's the rear end design to match that massive sleek new front. Notice that the rear end is massive too and provides the Nash with that same racy low hung look when seen from behind. Yes, coming or going, this big Nash, 196 and one half inches from bumper to bumper is an inspiring beauty. You can buy either a trunk sedan like this or you may prefer the sleek, unbroken curve of the slipstream model. And the beauty of either model is lasting, for every inch of body surface is bonderized to prevent the spread of rust, and then finished in long, live, permalux baked enamel, not lacquer. Inside the Ambassador 600, eye appeal is blended perfectly with usefulness and convenience. Just look at that new deluxe instrument panel. Brilliant engine turned steel, gleaming with horizontal bands of chromium, glowing with rich colored plastics. And its big airplane style instruments are as easy to read as they are to look at. The new deluxe steering wheel is scientifically tested and designed for your comfort. You grip it naturally, you hold it easily, you can see the instruments at all times. Nash 600 upholstery, durable and luxurious. You have your choice of five beautiful fabrics. Some of them at slight extra charge. Yes, in 1942, as always, the car buyer demands that his car have welcome, lasting beauty. He'll get it in the Nash Ambassador 600. The buyer, that's a beauty. But this year, as never before, smart buyers are looking beyond beauty, seeking long-term value, seeking a car built for the time. And that means a car that costs less to run. All America knows that gasoline prices have gone up. We already have gasless Sundays. And if actual rationing of gasoline comes to your part of the country, today's automobile buyers will either be driving an economical car or sitting at home hoping for a chance to refill an empty gas tank. One car out of all those offered in 1942 is built around a new idea, still brand new because there has been no similar development by any other manufacturer. And because the Ambassador 600 is the most modern car on the market, it embodies new thinking and new engineering which have achieved operating economy never before attained in a full-size car. Now, conventional cars are heavier than the 600. They have taken on weight as the years went by. As their manufacturers lengthened wheelbase, 
To get an easier ride and more room for passengers, they had to heavy up the frame to hold the longer car together. Then they piled on more pounds to make stiff semi-elliptic springs do their job. And all those extra pounds cost the owner extra money to lug around. But the Ambassador 600 is built by new methods, engineered like modern transport planes and streamlined trains, not like an old-fashioned automobile. Its body is roomier, yet lighter by hundreds of pounds, and stronger by actual test. So strong and rugged, in fact, that it needs no conventional frame. That is, body and chassis are a single welded unit, far less likely to squeak or rattle, far lighter, yet far stronger. Girders all around to protect you. That's Nash unitized construction. As for performance and economy, Heavy cars require big, heavy engines to provide acceptable performance. And of course, that conventional engine, doing extra work with extra horsepower, has a bigger thirst for gasoline. But in the more efficient 600 engine, expensive extra horsepower is eliminated, since the car has no dead weight to be pulled around. Therefore, the more compact 600 engine, doing less work to give brilliant performance, naturally uses less gasoline and oil. Another point, the modern construction of the Ambassador 600 makes it possible to utilize a system of coil springing never before used in a low-priced car. Our Ambassador 600 owners tell us it's the easiest riding low-priced car they've ever owned. That easy ride has been gained without piling on the extra weight which destroys operating economy. But although its fundamental design is the chief reason for the amazing economy of the Ambassador 600, there are more reasons why this Nash car costs less to run. The fuel mixture is carried to the cylinders through passages inside the engine block. That's a Nash exclusive, sealed in manifolding. And since temperatures within the engine block are obviously much the same all the year round, you drive all the year with the leanest, most economical summer mixture. With the optional fourth speed forward and automatic overtake, there's still more economy, as well as more spectacular performance. That is, for open road cruising, your engine loafs along at reduced revolution and reduced gasoline consumption, but with no reduction at all in car speed. This also means less wear on moving parts and longer engine life. Just pushing the accelerator to the floor automatically puts the car back into the extra powerful third gear, a driving, traffic-passing, hill-climbing gear. No two ways about it. The Nash Ambassador 600 for 42 is built to order for economy-minded America. It carries on the sensational economy tradition set by its predecessor. That was the car you remember, which beat all six, eight, and 12-cylinder cars in the 1941 Gilmore Grand Canyon run. Motordom's annual economy Olympic Games. And that same 1941 Ambassador 600 was the car which caused proud owners to write such unsolicited comments as these. I'm getting well over 25 miles to a single gallon in my new Nash. Why, this year I'm going to save about $265 driving a Nash instead of my former car. Lots of them, letter after letter from every state in the Union, all telling the same great story. The 600 is tops in economy. And on the basis of careful tests by owners, made in every part of the country, covering thousands upon thousands of miles, we can say definitely that if you are an average American driver, driving under average conditions, this new Nash can save one-third of your present gasoline bill. As for performance, well, here's what Nash owners say. This new Nash of ours sprints ahead of the rest like a scared dog. This car holds the road in high winds even better than much larger cars I've driven. Now, I'm a doctor. In zero weather, I can always depend on my 600 to start immediately. And the new Ambassador 600 will write a still greater success story. For one thing, there's new smoothness in performance due to new engineering of the flywheel. And pick up with one horsepower for every 35 pounds of car weight She'll get underway like a greyhound. 1942 buyers demand more than economy and performance. They demand a car that lasts longer, for they know that they may have to drive their 1942 car far longer than usual. 
For 25 years, Nash cars have had a reputation for lasting longer. And now the newest and therefore the most modern engine production line in the automotive industry precision builds the Flying Scott engines of the Nash 600. Result? An engine which embodies long-life engineering and construction features normally found only in higher-priced cars. Example, the Flying Scott engine has rifle-drilled connecting rods to bring lubrication to the hard-working piston pin, an essential of complete full-pressure lubrication. Another example, the main bearings of the Flying Scott engine are much larger than the average car in its price class. That means longer bearing life and greater smoothness throughout the entire speed range. Example three, Ambassador 600 crankshafts are balanced by radio in this precision machine. For precise balancing means extra smoothness, makes Nash engines last longer. Still more examples of durability. Full length water jackets, an extra hard cylinder block, a crankshaft vibration damper, these are just a few of the quality features you find in the Ambassador 600 when you look below the surface. For 1942, Americans also demand a comfortable, quiet car. And well, they should, for they may spend a good part of the next few years in the car they select today. As the first comfort factor, consider 600 roominess. 57 and 5 8 inches of seating width in front, almost 5 feet of lounge-like seating, and a full three and a half feet of leg room. In the rear, four feet two inches of seating width, and that same ample three and a half feet of leg room, instead of the restricted leg room, which most low-priced cars provide for rear seat passengers. New quiet is brought to the Ambassador 600 through 1942 advancements in soundproofing and in the cushioning of the engine's power impulses. To achieve this cushioning, there's a new flexible rubber mounting between the rear of the engine and the clutch housing. The pulsing beat of the engine is absorbed by the rubber, muffled, so it cannot be transmitted to the rest of the car. Then, as a final step in producing a ride of tiptoe quiet, the clutch pedal linkage has been designed so that there is no contact between the linkage and the rear of the engine block. The linkage is therefore much less likely to transmit engine vibrations. For riding comfort, the Ambassador 600 floats on four coil springs, a luxury car feature brought to the low-priced group by Nash. The Ambassador 600 is the only car in America with an enclosed front suspension like this one. It's the only suspension in which the up and down movement of the wheel is transmitted directly to its spring without any intermediate linkages or bushings like these to create friction which may make the spring less responsive. And remember, extra parts cost extra money when they wear out. Then, to make 24-hour comfort possible, there's the optional sedan sleeper, the famous Nash bed in a car, the feature which makes your Ambassador 600 a vacation time home on wheels. At your fingertips, there's proof that the 600 offers new driving comfort as well as riding comfort. A feather-light touch swings the wheel, for there's hundreds of pounds less weight to be controlled. The car turns in a 38-foot circle. You make U-turns in a single close-drawn sweep. And the Ambassador 600 is easy to park. You do it right the first time, because the 600 front suspension enables the wheels to turn more sharply. You do it with less effort, because of exclusive two-way steering. There are many other convenience features in this new 600. Take the clutch pedal starter, which starts the engine as you depress the clutch pedal to the floor. No fumbling for the starter, no chance of accidentally starting the car in gear. Then there's fingertip door closing, all doors shut without slamming because of the rotary door latches. And they stay wide open too if you want it because of the stay check. How's this for touring convenience? a 20 cubic foot trunk that'll swallow up that lineup of baggage like this. There's almost as much luggage space concealed beneath the flowing lines of the slipstream sedan. And now we come to the greatest comfort feature of them all. This new permanently open cowl ventilator proclaims that Nash is the car with the optional weather eye system of conditioned air. Most significant single comfort feature of recent years. 
the one which has brought such enthusiastic statements as these from Nash owners. The purchase price of our Nash was worth it over and over again, if only for the comfort we derived from the weather eye. It gives you Florida inside the car while you're driving in the Berkshires of Connecticut during the winter. And that is not exaggerated. There's no comparison to be made between this heating system and other heaters, no matter what the make of car. Now, here's how the weather eye works. Fresh air pours through the big air intake on the cowl. It passes over a rain trap, through dust filters, and an oversized heating core, and out into the car. The warm, filtered air blankets the floorboard, and then circulates evenly through the passenger compartment. There's less than three degrees variation, too, in temperature at floor level. This year, the weather eye works more efficiently than ever before because the thermostat, which controls its automatic operation, has been put in a new place, down where it reacts more quickly to temperature changes. As a result, it more quickly adjusts the temperature inside the car to the proper degree of comfort. But most important, the weather eye is your guarantee of constant fresh air ventilation with no fogged windows, constant automatic comfort, and constant safety since the weather eye ends the danger of deadly carbon monoxide leaking into the passenger compartment. And all this is achieved merely by setting the conditioned air control to the amount of warmth you desire. From then on, the weather eye thermostat keeps the incoming air at that temperature, and your comfort is automatic. In 1942, as always, safety is demanded by every car buyer. Here's the kind of safety that's built into the Nash Ambassador 600. At 2 a.m. on February 13th, I was driving westward on Route 30, 15 miles east of Pocatello, Idaho. Coming over the brow of a hill at an extremely high rate of speed, I hit a sheet of ice. My car skidded, then hit the dry pavement, then shot off the road at, oh, I'd say approximately 75 miles an hour, hitting a stone cliff. The impact was terrific. In fact, it knocked off one of my shoes. The car rolled over completely four times and came to a stop upside down. Well, I emerged from the wreck uninjured, except for superficial cuts on one hand. Now, in my estimation, the Nash 600 is the most sturdily constructed car of its class in America, and I feel that I owe my life to the material, construction, and engineering that have gone into the making of the Nash 600. Yes, advanced engineering brings real safety, new safety to the Ambassador 600. Here's how it's done. No longer is there a heavy frame underneath the passengers where it offers them the least protection. Instead, in the Ambassador 600 unitized construction, the frame is all around the passengers. You are surrounded by heavy structural members which form a web of steel on all sides, self-braced like the girders of a bridge. Add to this a field of vision wider because of Nash unitized construction and oversized brakes with 143 and one half square inches of lining area. Brakes which can either halt the car right now or ease it to a cushion soft stop. The result, a car that's safer because it's more modern. Thus, in 1942, Americans buy their cars carefully, seeking and comparing long-term values, and well they may. For the car they buy in 42 may be the car they are driving for many years. As for price, the Ambassador 600 was designed for today's pocketbook. This model is the one shown throughout the film, complete with deluxe equipment, yet priced in the lowest price class. This model has standard equipment can be purchased at a minimum price. And whatever equipment you select, you may have your choice of five body styles. Coupe, Coupe Brome, two-door slipstream sedan, four-door slipstream sedan, and the four-door trunk sedan. The Nash Ambassador 600 is the new kind of car which has already proved its money-saving ability in upwards of 350 million miles of actual service. It is the car with features never before offered in the lowest price field. Features which you can get only in the Nash Ambassador 600. It is the newest car on the market. The latest achievement of a $59 million corporation. In a word, 
The Nash 600 is the car of the hour. The car with longer life and lower operating costs. The million-dollar beauty in the lowest price.